Hello, everyone. Now, the last time I was here at the Boys and Girls Club of East Scarborough was in March 2020, right before the pandemic. The world has changed in the past four years, but the team here continues to do outstanding work. So thank you, Ucha, and to your entire team for the amazing work here uh, for young people and for the community in Scarborough. Je suis très heureux d'être ici à Scarborough avec la vice-première ministre Freeland, les ministres Suds et Ian, le député local John McKay, uh, et les autres membres de notre équipe, dont Julie, Nate, Ryan, Mark et Jean. On est ici aujourd'hui pour parler de ce qu'on fait pour soutenir les enfants et les familles. It's Easter Monday today. During the long weekend, a lot of people spent time with their family and shared good meals together. And around the kitchen table, a lot of people were talking about grocery prices that are still too high. Tomorrow, kids will be going back to school, and some of them won't have enough to eat. That impacts their health and their opportunities to learn and grow. And like we said last week, this year's upcoming budget will be all about fairness. Fairness for every generation. And that, of course, includes and starts with children and families. We all want kids to have the best start in life, including the most vulnerable. That's why we'll be investing $1 billion to create a national school food program that will provide meals to 400,000 more kids every year beyond those served by existing programs. We'll work with provinces and territories and Indigenous partners towards ensuring every child has the food they need. On va investir un milliard de dollars à travers les provinces, territoires et communautés autochtones pour augmenter les programmes d'alimentation scolaire et offrir des repas à 400 000 enfants de plus à chaque année. On va aider les enfants en s'assurant qu'ils passent pas la journée à l'école, le ventre vide. Et en même temps, Ça va donner une tranquillité d'esprit, un soulagement aux parents et aux grands-parents. We just know that when kids eat better, they do better in school. The teachers, advocates and volunteers I spoke with today know that, and it's something I remember from my years as a teacher. When a kid walks up before class and says, I'm hungry, that means we all have more work to do as a school community, as a country, as a world. We want everyone to be able to eat well so they can reach their full potential. Le programme national d'alimentation scolaire vient s'ajouter à nos investissements générationnels pour aider les familles et rendre la vie plus abordable à travers le pays. 